What's up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today we're going to be talking about a newsletter that just came out, given to us by the very generous Guinevere, who is the community manager of Void Interactive. The name of this update is called Squad AI Feature. Ooh, now this sounds interesting. But before we get into that, be sure to like up the video, subscribe if you're new, and ding that bell so that you can get more content like Ready or Not, or any other tactical game, because I cover a lot of tactical games. But anyways, let's go ahead and start with the introduction here. Hey everyone, welcome to the 23rd bi-weekly briefing for Ready or Not, focusing on some gameplay with with our squad AI and command system, the player will be utilizing to control them. Neat. I wonder if it's gonna be like swap fours. All right, let's push on to the next thing here. Squad AI feature. For today's briefing, we wanted to show some gameplay of the single player squad AI in action during the game's career mode and playing by yourself. You'll be relying on squad AI to watch your back, protect you, and follow your orders to execute the mission as effectively as possible. In handling their responsibilities, it's important that the squad AI strikes a delicate balance between being competent without holding the player's hand. If the SWAT team can handle the mission without any input from the player, it makes the mission too easy. Fair enough. But if the player has to babysit them, they'll end up frustrated and wondering why they're in there in the first place. Good point. Moving on. This balance point has been difficult to achieve, but with consistent efforts refining and iterating upon our squad AI, we believe we've made a team that can handle itself, but functions best with the steady hand and leadership of the player to guide them. You can divide your officers to have them cover different entrances, coordinate them to breach at the same time, and and then proceed to arrest the suspects that have surrendered. Or you can go to the head of the stack and lead the breach yourself. The player is given a variety of options about how to best tackle the dangerous and delicate situations they'll be confronted with. Interesting. In the video below, you'll see Ready or Not Squad AI in action, breaching and clearing, arresting, and subduing suspects while working as a cohesive unit within the player's control. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this video here. And of course, with every video, I'm going to show it off first and then talk about it. So let's get into it. Fall in. Fall in. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Hands up. Drop the weapon. Drop the weapon now. One, Talk two, to two, every team. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. Kick in the door. Last thing out. Last thing spotted. Drop your weapon. Open and clear. Doors unlocked. Disarm it. Disarming trap. Trap disarmed. Checking. Pick the lock. Locks open. Cuff them. Arresting the target. Cover me. Cover me. Fall in. Falling in. Wow, that's certainly a lot to unpack there. All right, so I think the first thing I want to say before I start this is that this is actually the single player career mode, and this is honestly what a lot of players have been expecting from Void Interactive. And finally, after how many years are somewhat delivering a glimpse of what we players want, another thing that I want to mention is that this is kind of like the first time they're really showing this off, like to the public. Like they showed this off a lot to us, like under the supporter edition, you know, NDA version, but they haven't actually given us like an updated version of the build, which is unfortunate. But anyways, so. I'm going to try and see if I could get a good deep dive out of this because there's a lot of new stuff in here. So let's start it. 
All right, so obviously, before you know, I get any further, the music that's coming in at the very beginning is made by our new composer here, Zach Bauer. So far, he's doing a pretty good job. I mean, I definitely like the music that Dan Lista was making, but Zach's doing a pretty good job so far. So let's go ahead and get into the rest of it here. All right, so here we got the top of the hotel, the front entrance, that is. Looks like the SWAT units are just moving in here. Because he probably ordered them to stack up on the door before he probably pushed in. Looks like they're holding a bunch of less than lethals here. Let's push on here. That's a red team, by the way. So you got red team and blue team. And it looks like you can actually see the names on the back of their heads. That looks like Eli. I can't read what that one says on the left there. But uh, yeah, these guys are holding less than lethals right here. You got less than lethal shotgun, less than lethal shotgun, paintball gun, paintball gun. But these are probably filled with pepper balls, most likely. We're the only one with the actual hot weapon here. You got the MP5, but it looks kind of like modified with the micro T1. It's a tall one, I think, with the silencer on. Looks like we're about to go into reception. I wonder what the local 1 to 13 means. I also want to mention that these are the new models that were just released well not released but like the ones that they showed off to us if you didn't see it i'll put a link to that on the eye icon at the top right so be on the lookout for that so he pushes up towards the door and bam he kicks it open before i look at that i kind of want to see okay so we got a new kicking open feature here and i don't know how to feel about that because the previous system or at least the system that we have currently in place is you just walk up to the door and double tap b which is the melee button on the door and he just kicks it open like with this one now it seems like i'm gonna have to actually look for the button on the door to actually kick stuff open so i mean i guess this is more of a nitpick than a complaint i guess like i don't know how better or worse this is gonna be but let me know what you think was using the button better or is looking for an interface button better i guess let me know then we got what is this door some new type of button over here i'm not sure what that is but these look the same i'm going to assume like we get some sort of pry bar or something i don't know so he just kicks it in you can see a dead dude right here a bunch of dead people all around we've seen this before here's the arches with the paintings there's a lot of like blood stains everywhere hold on before i go any further is that a civilian i mean i can't really tell it looks like a one of the white supremacist guy, biker guys kind of then I take a closer look at it. Like his clothes are like that jean color, you know? But yeah, the, our guy's kind of dumb here because he just like kicks in and he starts walking into the middle. Fall in. Fall in. Put your hands. If it were me, I would have tried to take cover like on the right side there. But you see a suspect on the right side inside and also someone behind. Actually, you can't really see that guy behind the counter there. Fall in. Like, you kind of see him, like, move right to left. He comes over here. You see him for, like, a split second, and then he comes over here. I don't think the player actually saw him. Put your hands up. Yeah, and then he, like, shoots him from, like, right here. It looked like our player actually got hit here. Put your hands up. He pulls out a stinger, it looks like. No, that was a flashbang. My bad. You see this guy just shooting at him with the new gun sounds. That sounds pretty good. I'm surprised that that guy survived that many shots. Holy hell. But then again, this is an MP5, so it's like, what, 9mm or something like that? If he's wearing armor, I don't think it's enough to uh, penetrate. So there's an explosion behind the counter here. And then we get to see some sort of... I think, like, this is the most interesting thing that I remembered about this trailer, is that he pulls out, like, some sort of scissors. Yeah, the tweezers. And I guess he pulls the bullet out of his... Yeah, he like pulls the bullet out of his shoulder or something. Is that like the new medical system? I mean, that's what it's gotta be, right? Cause like you see like the screen kind of turning white here to indicate that he ends up healing himself just a little bit. Cause I remember before, It was like, you know, you had to actually like pull out like a pouch or something that was filled with like a bunch of medical stuff. But here it just looks like he's doing like Escape from Tarkov sort of deal where he just like presses a button and, and he ends up like healing himself with like a different tool. One thing that I want to mention is that there are a lot of new things that they added to the game where there is like a bit of destruction, but it's like minuscule, you know, like these papers that are flinging around because I'm sure they shot some papers on the desk or something. That's cool. That was a cool scene though. Let's push it to the next one. All right. So this next scene kind of starts off in like a blue room. Like a dark blue room that looks like they're going towards an exit which i'm assuming this is like towards the end of the hotel at some point looks like all these guys still have the same weaponry less than lethals and the mp5 obviously 
I wonder what that was supposed to say. I'm trying to like read the back of their heads because they all have names. Like there's multiple characters that I've seen in game and I'm trying to like remember all the names. I know Paz, Eli, King, the black guy, I can't remember his name, uh, Alabama, I think it was. So here he pulls out his breaching shotgun and he begins to open up this door, but I think he shoots it in like a weird spot. Like he shoots it like over here, what he's supposed to be shooting it down here. Unless that is supposed to open up the door where he shoots it, like I don't know. I'm not someone who's professional on door opening, so if anybody wants to let me know if that's a good spot to shoot a door. But uh, yeah, so that's basically the scene right here, they're just opening up this door. <laughs> So we see a suspect in the back here with some sort of shotgun, and uh, I think this is the same- No, it's not the same door, it's a different door. Drop your weapon. That guy had like no reaction though. Drop your weapon. Like all the other trailers, you just see him standing there. Like, you see, if it were if it were me as the bad guy, I would be behind this door, like, you know, in cover, right? Or not just standing there, I would be reacting to these freaking dudes. Drop your weapon. But maybe the air is just not there. Actually, it kind of looks like he drops his weapon before it cuts, cuts to the next scene there. But notice that this guy actually notices and he says drop your weapons uh that's king by the way apparently the king has like a yellow piece of tape on him which i'm sure is a mention to carcosa drop your weapon Who's this guy with the orange? I'm not sure who that is. But they cut to the next scene here and they're doing also a uh, kicking open of this door. Kicking the door. And he kicks it in from the middle. So maybe there's also a button in the middle that you can kick in. Because it gives you an option on the like on the main door. But maybe there's one also on the on the middle. So that's kind of cool. So breaching and clearing. He kicked open the door and this one threw in a flashbang I think he said. Oh, and this one had, that bad guy in the back had a mask on, and I'm not sure what kind of weapon he had, hold on, he has an AK, AKM or something, but I like how that flashbang actually affected him, even though, even though he's wearing a gas mask here. And the AI proceeds to walk in. Like, they kind of, like, do, like, a flow here. They start with the left side, and then the right side pushes in behind it. And then this guy on the left here arrests this guy. Drop your weapon. Oh, no. Oh, okay, maybe not. It looks like he was actually going to arrest him, but he kind of like walks away as soon as he actually sees the guy behind him. This guy was very slow to react, by the way. Throughout this trailer, I see that the A is still kind of finicky. Like, this guy, he should have seen the other guy from behind and shot at him with the paintball gun. Because, I mean, he has a less than lethal, so he would know that this is going to kill him, right? Let's see, he would have saw him right there and pop, 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 but he doesn't. Like, you think there'd be some sort of call out right there. Like, the AI would have told his squad mates that there's a second guy there. He would have yelled out, there's a second one! And he would have started firing. So, I'm, I'm wondering, can you, like, tell the AI to actually be passive? Like, is that what this is? Or is this just how the AI is? Like, it, they see it, but they don't freaking call it out or shoot at him, even though they have a bigger gun than they do. Like, how the f***? <laughs> Come on now, you didn't see him? Like, I would have saw him, like, walking in, like, right here. But this guy, he's staring at him. See that? And he's not shooting. See, this would have pissed me off. I'm like, what the hell? Why aren't you shooting at him? But anyways, these guys look like they're about to go into melee combat. This guy has some sort of vest on him with a gas mask. And I can't tell what gun that is, but it looks like an SMG. And by the way, it looks like it kind of snaps to just me. Like, like the AI is only meant to kill me, it seems like. See? See that? It kind of just snapped to you. But anyways, it looks like we're walking down a hall here. Uh, I'm trying to remember if this is anywhere in particular that I remember. I think this is the gift shop, gift shop on the right here. I could be wrong. Moving on. Yeah, that is a gift shop. Okay. So local one three. Okay, so this is we're kind of like circling around here. Looks like so he pulls out his. Is this an MP5? This doesn't look like an MP5. Well, he pulls out he pulls out his magazine for this weapon here, and he's obviously checking to see how much ammo it has. I actually like that feature. Then it cuts to another scene with the, there's a lot of door kicking in this freaking uh, trailer so far. So they kick open another door. Bang, out. And the guy on the left side, which seems to happen every time, the guy behind him actually throws in another bang. So, uh, so far I dislike is how the AI is like kind of like not really hugging the wall. Like here's, here's what I would like them to do. Cause they actually showed off one time. This right here. So a while back, they showed off how they were supposed to hug the wall right here like this. Like this is how I would like to see them right here hugging this wall. And then do that. Yeah, like that. Just do that, you know? Then they're doing this here. They're not really hugging the wall. What the hell? Hold on. What did that do? Bang, out. 
That was a really bad bang, first of all. Like, and another thing, they should, like, aim their targets to, like, go forward if they're gonna open up the door this wide. If it was cracked, then yeah, throw it off to the side, but from making it open this big, throw it in, like, beeline it when throwing in a flashbang, because they're just kind of, like, tossing it in there, and it's not really doing anything. Like, it's kind of just, like, hitting this wall right here. That's not gonna do anything. So another thing with like hugging the wall right here, like they need to hug this wall so that they're not getting hit. Cause this right here, like their shoulder is showing, they could get shot from right there. Yeah, so I'm not sure what that bang did. It looked like it didn't do anything. And this one right here, they just blow up the door with the C2 charger, I assume. And they're going into reception from the um, alcohol room, maybe? Kinda looks like it. And now they're actually running in, which is different. I'm assuming there's a command to do that. Oh no, that... that was bad. Like, instead of just him running towards his fellow officer to help him out, he goes here and then here. I don't like that. Like, he just needs to, like, push in if he's gonna run in like that. Because if not, this guy's just alone. Like, that just looks like bad AI pathing. But also, I can see their names, Eli and Paz. What is this guy looking at? This guy's just staring off into the wall right there. Yeah, like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, this guy, he ran in by himself, and he's, like, running in. He's not walking, whereas this guy, he gets to the stairs, and he just moseys on up. Do -do 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 -do. The guy in front of him is like, What the f***? Help me out, jackass! But anyways, so this looks different. This looks like something out of freaking Hell Let Loose right here. Like this type of screen. I actually kind of like the way that this looks, to be honest. So you got stack up, open breach, cover, and open door. But you're doing this with the numpad. I don't know how I feel about that. Because this feels like if it ain't broke, don't fix it territory, you know? So wait, what did he click there? Oh wait, how is he, how is he actually using this? Okay, so he clicked on clear, and is he using the numbers that are like above the keyboard or the numpad? I'm assuming the numpad, right? I don't know how to feel about that. Like, I prefer swap fours where you're just like holding right click and then just dragging your mouse and yeah, like I, it just feels faster to me. But I guess we'll see when we try this out. Open and clear. Doors unlocked. Alright, so that was just a simple open and clear. And yeah, you could hear that soundtrack in the background. The Zach Bauer's soundtrack. Ooh, did you see that? He flicked on his light for like the first time that I've seen. And that light doesn't look too good. It could be brighter. And here's where we see a trap right here. I hope we're able to disarm that. Disarm it. Disarming. Okay, and we can actually have the freaking AI go and do it, I guess. What the hell is going on with this guy's gun? It looks like he's trying to like hook it up on something before he decides to like disarm something. But it just looks really awkward when he's doing that. Yeah. I mean, that looks pretty good right there, but before it's just weird. Notice that these guys were using shotguns earlier. Now that they're u now they're using um, opti wands. Well, they're called opti wands in SWAT 4, but I figured I figured what they're called here. You know something that I noticed about this model is that there's a lot less like grenades on the back of their things right here. Like I don't know if that's just because they don't have grenades or if that's like just the model itself. So I remember there being like a whole bunch of like stuff on the back here, and now it just looks plain. I don't know. I guess we'll figure that one out when when uh, we see it. I guess. Alright, so these guys are stacking up on this next door here, even though it doesn't look that good. Like, I hate how they're not just, like, suctioning cups to these damn walls. It would look so much better. And, like, hold on. Okay. Alright, that's a good spot for him. I was gonna say, like, if he stood, like, right here, that would be a bad spot. So he needs to come up on these stairs. So that, But that's good. He's, he's good there. This guy on the other hand, he might get hit. Like, I'd have, like, this third guy up on here, like, behind the stairs over here, in my opinion. So this one... Oh. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. Checking. Oh, he's checking to see... Okay, so he's checking to see if the door's locked or not, I'm assuming. Pick the okay, that's cool. Pick the lock, he says. Lock. That looks very awkward. Maybe you could have him step back just a bit so that his hands are actually, like, on the door. Because him putting his hands through the door would look really awkward. Like, these guys are talking to each other like, Yo, bro, why is he sticking his hands through the door? This guy's gotta be a freaking ghost or something. Locks open. Alright, locks open. So it looks like our guy here got hit pretty bad because he has a lot of red on him. Alright, so he's arresting the target. Police brutality? This man has already given up. <laughs> he didn't have to slap him there. And the funny thing is, is that I think the game actually glitched out right there. Because it stops like right as he slaps the shit out of him. 
Yeah, that was that was unnecessary. <laughs> Man already gave up, but it's just funny to see I guess like maybe if he was like standing up with his gun And you come up behind him and arrest his ass like that then yeah, you could like hit him But like this man's already given up. He's like he's already on the floor and he's down, you know, but uh, uh cool resting animation So you obviously have to aim at him and then pull up the screen and then say cuff him And he goes up and he rests him and he does a necessary freaking police brutality right there. And I like how it actually freezes on that. Like, I don't know if that's intentional. I feel like it was. It, it's either like the game messing up there or the de developers paused it on that. I can't really tell. And then he orders them to either move up or stack up or cover or whatever. So we're looking down a hall here. And then it's showing off the uh, the camera on the top right view. Because initially, it was supposed to be like a tablet where you pull out a tablet and you're supposed to look. But they're just like, eh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they just put this here. So, I mean, I like that more than I like the, the tablet, to be honest. Because I never used the tablet. I used it maybe once or twice just to show off to, like, buddies. But in gameplay, I never used it. Again, this is another one of those if it ain't broke, don't fix it things from SWAT 4. I'm glad that that's here. Cover me. I'm not even sure what they were doing in that tablet screen. It looks like he was arresting someone. Here you can kind of see that the command screen actually turns from red to blue, indicating that he's commanding both teams. He tells them to cover him and fall in. Which fall in basically means just regroup. You know, if they're like further away, then they just come over to your position. And it looks like they're moving through a tiny little bar area here. Again, the the hotel map is like a really big map, but I kind of just wish that they would show off more than just this one. One thing that I noticed here, at the bottom right, it says King, Healthy Cover, Healthy Cover, Prescott, Healthy Cover. So that's kind of cool. Like, it tells you if um, the cover that they're in is good or not. You know, another thing that they should do is tell if they're dead or half dead or injured or something. That'd be pretty cool. And also make it so that it fades off of your screen. Click it so that you can see, like, the status of your guys. But I don't want to keep it, like, on my screen. I just want to, like, click off of it. That'd be great. So we have a slow motion deal right here. I got Eli. I want to know what this guy is. Like, who's that? The guy with the orange. This just looks awkward. This looks cool. This is a cool shot. Might even be the thumbnail. I don't know. I want to know. Is this guy like a... Is that like his t-shirt or is that his underwear? Like, because it looks like his pants are right here. I don't know. That's a really cool looking stance, I want to say. We got Paz here and uh, somebody else over there. Maybe they were ordered to just watch that suspect while the rest of us push on by themselves. Alabama. Where? I don't think I saw Alabama at all in here, did I? Unless Alabama is the orange one. I guess that would make sense, right? Yeah, I don't think I saw Alabama's face like at all in here. Yeah, that's gotta be that's gotta be Alabama then. Looks like he has a taser, by the way. So yeah, in conclusion, this brings an end to our 23rd bi-weekly briefing, previewing elements of our squad AI and the command UI the player will be utilizing in gameplay. And that's pretty much it for the newsletter. Oh, it looks like we got a bit of breaking news. It seems as if Guinevere, the person that has been giving us a lot of these cool newsletters, is no longer the community manager for Void Interactive. As of today, at 11.44 AM, she ended up dropping a statement that I'm actually unable to read because it's in the NDA Discord, but if you go to the regular Ready or Not Discord and look at her about me, you can see see former community manager and writer for Void Interactive. So that's unfortunate. The statement did not say why she left or if she was getting fired or anything like that. So I can only speculate as to what's actually going on behind the scenes. But uh, yeah, Void Interactive loses another community manager. This is not a good sign. As if the PR for Void Interactive wasn't poor enough, now they're losing another community manager. And I have a feeling we're not going to see a newsletter for a very long time. So I think that's where I'm going to end the video. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like or not then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content like this if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or click on the join button down below any donation really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye